Well, shooters and reloaders out there, especially all you shot shell reloaders, we've discovered that the Russian slugs shoot so much better than Lee Key Drive and Lyman 525s and, and any other slug that we shot shell reloaders have been using all these years. The Russian slugs shoot with more accuracy and more consistency. So we like the Russian slugs, but there are some things that are required to really make those Russian slugs work well. And Nick Ross, out of the great state of Tennessee, has come forward to produce some items that are very important for reloading the Russian slugs well. For example, these are Nick's clips and they allow us to put the Russian tail wads and slugs together without damaging the wads. Very important for good performance. And Nick has also produced these very fine hull vices that are very important to allow us to use our drill presses or even hand drills, although the drill press is the best way to go. So this is a high quality item that Nick is producing and all of these things, the Nick Ross hull vise, Nick Ross clips, and the Russian slug molds are all available from the Reloaders Network store. But now look what Nick Ross has produced for us and that is he's produced the Nick Ross roll crimper. Now notice it has a very robust stem for mounting into our drill press chuck and the innovation that Nick Ross has done here is that this roll crimper has four pins, not one, not two, but four. And this is kind of like the P-51 Mustang and the P-47 Thunderbolt has a four-bladed prop and add the F4U Corsair to that. The four-bladed prop is much superior than the one or two or even three-bladed prop. So to give you an idea, this is the Nick Ross roll crimper side by side with the BPI roll crimper that has one pin. Now BPI also makes one that has two pins. But this gives you an idea of the difference between the BPI roll crimper and the Nick Ross roll crimper. Now here's the Nick Ross roll crimper in comparison with the Milorad Dragovic roll crimper out of Serbia. And he's got two pins in here and this is also a much larger diameter, outside diameter than the roll crimpers from Nick Ross or BPI. But uh, you've seen the the you've seen in the middle you've seen the Milorad Dragovic in action, but the important thing is not the size of the roll crimper, but rather the final product of the roll crimps. So let's go ahead and test the difference between these three roll crimpers. Notice the BPI roll crimper has a very narrow stem for chucking in the drill press whereas the Nick Ross is much more robust, even more robust than the Milorad Dragovic. Now this is a small point, but the workmanship and quality and construction of the Nick Ross roll crimp is excellent. Now for this test, we're gonna do two shot shells each with the Russian slugs inside there and the powder charge is 34 grains of blue dot powder. So they're full loadings, but the important thing is to notice that we chose the best condition hulls to run this test. The hulls are nice and round on the outside mouth opening, and there's no frayed edges, and there's no skiving needed. They're all ready to go. So these are ready to roll crimp. Let's go ahead and do the BPI, then the Milorad Dragovic, 
and then the Nick Ross roll crimper. Okay, so first, let's go ahead and use the BPI roll crimper, as you see there, ready to go. Now, it's going to be noisy, so we're going to go ahead and show you the crimping. That's one. Now let's do the second one. By the way, we put Vaseline inside the roll crimper. Next, the Millerad Dragovic roll crimper, custom made from Eastern Europe. And so we'll go ahead and use this one. Now, you've seen this one in action before, and it does a nice job also. Let's go ahead. Now finally, the Nick Ross roll crimper. Now it's the first time I've used this roll crimper, so sometimes we have to use it for a while to really get the hang of it, but let's go ahead and see. So here are those six hulls. And the BPI produced the thickest roll, but it's a good roll. It's a little on the thick side. The Millerad Drigovic produced the thinnest roll. And the Nick Ross produced one that's between the two, more toward the Millerad Drigovic than toward the BPI. So this is thin also, just not quite as thin as the Millerad Dragovic. But both are very consistent. Both of these are very consistent. And both of these are consistent. And the slugs don't rattle in any of these. So the Millerad Dragovic roll crimper, being that it produced the thinnest roll, resulted in the tallest shell. When we roll crimped it down until the roll came down and hit the slug, it created it created a taller shell because not as much of the roll of the plastic is going into the width as the length. Because these are a little bit thicker and more of the plastic is being used on the thickness results in these two being a little bit shorter shell, which may be advantageous. Now from this angle, you can see again the length of the shell, and you'll see that all three produce a radius, and the radius might be a little bit better with the Millerad Dragovic because of the thinness, but the Nick Ross produces a very nice radius on that one. Okay, so I just got done functioning these rounds through a Mossberg 500 slide action shotgun as well as the 590 semi-automatic shotgun and they function just fine. No problem with feeding or loading or ejection. Okay, let's give the Nick Ross roll crimper a good test. Here you see the mouths of these are not round or uniform. They've got folds and dents in there and I don't expect these to roll crimp well. But let's see what happens when we run these through the Nick Ross roll crimper. We'll start with this one that's only kind of messed up first. Put a little more Vaseline in there because it's time to put it in. And here we go.
Well, that first one made a very nice no rattle crimp there. Let's take the second worst one. This one. That's pretty bad. Normally I wouldn't use that case. Perfect roll crimp. No rattle. Okay, now let's take the third worst one. Now this one, that's not gonna, it's not gonna roll crimp. This is asking too much. By golly, perfect roll crimp. No rattle. All right, this one definitely. Look, look, look at that fold there. No way that's going to work. No way. <laughs> Wow, no rattle. Well, I honestly expected the Nick Ross roll crimper to fail to roll crimp those mangled hull mouths, but it just did a great job. Now, the reason why I know that there's problems trying to roll crimp such hulls is because I've had problems before. For example, here's one that's in my take apart pile, and you see. If you try and do one that's folded, you get a bad crimp. I've got to take this apart, save the components. However, here are 10 rounds that we loaded up with the Nick Ross roll crimper and we're ready to go to range to shoot two five shot groups. So once again, if you want to get one of these Nick Ross roll crimpers, they should be in the Reloaders Network store in another week or so. Bye for now.